Commerce Secretary Gene Romano holding several high-level economic policy meetings in China today. Eunice Yoon joins us now on a high-speed train to Shanghai uh, with the Commerce Secretary and her delegation. No kidding. Hey, Eunice. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Joe. They're actually in the carriage behind me. Uh, but uh, she is headed to Shanghai after a very full day in Beijing. She met, as you mentioned, with very high-level officials. And her main message has been that the U.S. and China should continue to have a very strong relationship, not only on her area in trade, commerce, and the economy, but also outside. So today, when she met with the Chinese premier, she uh, stressed that she hoped that the two would cooperate on AI, fentanyl crisis, as well as climate change. Uh, most of her focus, though, as you could expect, was on trade and economics. And so because of that, she also met with the vice premier, who uh, is in charge of economic affairs. And when she was with him, she said, we will never compromise in protecting our national security. We do not seek, though, to decouple or hold China's economy back. Now, uh, Secretary Raimondo had also met with China's culture and tourism minister to try to uh, boost one area that she thinks the U.S. and China can cooperate on, that is travel and tourism. Uh, she actually announced that the two are going to revive a leadership summit in tourism uh, at the start of next year, uh, which had been shelved because of the pandemic. So a lot of optimism in her messaging today. Joe? Uh, a lot to talk about, uh, Eunice. When you started, when, when we, the intro, high speed two, I almost, <laughs> thinking about what we talk about with some of the projects over in China, I almost said a high-speed rail to nowhere, because um, that, that's kind of uh, what we're told with a lot of these projects. Hey, do you think it's, it's going well right now? Do you, do you think that the, the hard questions and conversations are being had in, in these meetings? Mm. I think there are um, hard conversations being had in that uh, the secretary said that she had brought up some of the stickier issues, such as the treatment of Micron, um, the, uh, the, the um, issues with, with Intel. She also had brought up the, um, the uh, Chinese export curbs of the two metals that are uh, very important for the world's uh, semiconductor industry. Whether or not they've resolved or either side has uh, really uh, stood back or agreed to any compromise on the core policies. We really haven't seen any sign of that. Most of it has been talk about uh, what um, could, where, where there could be cooperation. Um, and that's really her main focus, including in Shanghai, where she's going to be uh, visiting the NYU campus to try to, to stress people, people exchanges, uh, a visit to Shanghai Disneyland, as well as to a Boeing facility. Right. Thank you, uh, Eunice.